Hello, good day, and welcome back. Today we have something special. Our first 2024 Jayco just arrived. Um, it's a 267 BHS uh, Jayco J flight. I'm just gonna jump right into it. Um, in here, the pass through, this is uh, for the J port. You can see the griddle hanging out over there. There are uh, little swing out trays for on top of the recliners that are in there. I don't have the interior lights on, but they do have uh, those ready to rock and roll for you. They do have these new uh, stabilizers down here. Kind of take a look. They're manual. You zip them out over there. They drop down. Actually really kind of cool. So um, a little new innovation there for Jayco. It does have a new... Uh, propane tank covers as well so a little bit thicker a little bit stronger than those uh, other ones that they used to use uh, power tongue jack of course got the spot for the hangers for the chains which is also very very nice uh, prepped for side view cameras um, kind of a little goodie box here more part of that j-port system tv mount antenna some manual cranks all that good stuff but that's kind of how they show up um, I guess let's do dry weight here, 6,075 pounds. Uh, moving right along, nice big slide out. Um, LED markers throughout the side. Of course, they all blink when you turn your blinkers on. Um, I will point this out as well. There's one wiper, and then if you can see back here, there's a second one. So not just one wiper seal, two. There's that water channel up top. Exterior showers hanging out over here, black tank flush, dumps are all over here. Again, the newer stabilizers hanging out in the rear as well. Nice spare tire hanging. Reverse lights on the brake lights. On demand water heater, brand new for this year. Uh, this is where this one would mount for that exterior uh, griddle top. Spray port back here, if I can get my finger right there does have a backup ladder again, or not a backup ladder, uh, it has a backup camera prop, but it has a ladder to get up to the roof. I'll say pardon my, uh, my speech. Nice magnetic holds up there. Outdoor kitchen, you've got blue lighting in here. Looks like they've got a few coming off. The stick'em strip wasn't actually uh, removed, so pretty easy fix. Uh, a little outdoor fridge got some drawers of course your griddle would come out over here all pretty straightforward uh, the other thing I'm gonna point out is they did a really good job here is these screws maybe you can see it better over here they're mounted on the back side of this which of course water will get in here that's why you see those little puddles of dust it's where water's gotten in and hung out there until it's dried. And if you put the screws on the outside, then you're relying on some sealant to uh, prevent that from creating water damage. So hats off the Jayco for doing that. Do have Goodyear tires on these rigs. Just as always, fresh water tank fill is there. Exterior TV mount right there. There you go, Jayco 267 BHS. LED light strip under the awning, two plus two year limited plus a uh, three year structural warranty. Do have tinted windows, so very, very nice. A lot of campers, you're losing that just to save some dollars. Nice full width entry steps. I'm gonna come on in here and uh, close that door. So I do like how they do have recliners here instead of the traditional couch. These are much more comfortable. Um, I know it does not make into a bed, but I do prefer them. It's just a personal preference. And of course, those little flip out trays would hang up here and turn into little eating top, cooktop, whatever you want to call it, little TV tray area. This does drop down and make into a bed. Pedestal pulls. It's actually very sturdy. I don't know if you can see this, it's hardly moving. So as far as uh, freestanding or mounted tables go on a travel trailer very impressed with it carpeting is still gone um, moving right around to the front this is where you'd put a television of course got some 
storage up top with the clear so if you wanted to uh, you could put a game system or whatever would take an IR remote it would work in there you'd have to probably add a hole um, over here you have a 12 volt plug-in for a television regular 110 radios hanging out and then more storage little area down here probably use it for a shoe kick I suppose you could put a food or water dish for a pet that would work as well I'll move you right over here to the control panels nothing special simple buttons tank monitors no worries there nothing fancy gets the job done and let me turn this little top light on so we can maybe see a little more nice little storage there drawers are hanging out doing a good job and everything's nice and smooth again down below you do have this uh, double weld sink I'm not sure if this is uh, on purpose or not this one just came with the one half cover so I'm not certain if that was intended or if that's how they're all coming and this one's just missing one other than that three burner stove oven complete with keys and then of course it's actually kind of nicer than a lot of them so a little bit more metal there instead of just the wires that look well old nice big fridge and freezer AC of course is up top it does have these open close vents and you can turn them I love these things I think every camper should have them most don't um, hanging storage if you wish otherwise plenty of storage a little bit more down below and more up top you have your double over double bunk beds and I will give you a little shot of this long story short is uh, double bunks are rated for 600 pounds each you do have USB ports hanging out way back there AC vent up top plenty of storage down here this one's got the uh, 110 power bathroom sink is over here and storage down low medicine cabinet up high towel holder on the wall bathroom is just as you'd expect it and look at that there's a teepee holder already mounted no worries on that one I know a lot of these campers will either come with them for you to mount or none at all and uh, I always love these pull down push up that they just move instant gotta love it sky dome for the bath get you a little more head height digital thermostat love those uh, backwards looking forwards I mean pretty traditional standard layout this is one of the more popular floor plans uh, the only one that would be maybe slightly more popular would be one with a, si a second side door and direct access to the bathroom where the bunks and everything would be flipped they do a good job adding 12 volt charging supplies kind of throughout they're hiding around even over here right by the door I'm going into the master bed really decent job there is a gap here so if you're long this is full clean so if for some reason you're longer than six foot you might actually fit in this one nice hanging storage here you do have power on both sides of the bed and then this one's actually really special because it comes with its own solar charge controller all mounted in and ready to go I'll let you read a little bit of that 200 watt panel on the roof maybe my light screwing us up a little so we'll kick that off and then again more storage storage up top as well and under bed storage has the shocks to hold it up for you uh, looks like everything is coming in a lot cleaner these edges on the wood I don't know if you're gonna notice this but I've noticed this everything just looks like they're spending a little bit more time on it um, some of those uh, COVID campers were I don't want to say they cut corners pun intended there uh, but there were some things that were not a hundred percent perfect with them uh, we lived with it because it was uh, what it was they were all coming that way 
but now uh, we're back to regular and quality is going to set you apart and these are doing a darn good job of it uh, first of the 24s hoping to get some more as we do i will uh, bring them all to you questions comments concerns let me know below